Hi, my name is Callie Chappelle, and welcome to this video about the heat control of mRNA and translation. This video is made for MCDB 427, which is molecular biology at the University of Michigan. So today we're talking about bacterial translational control, and specifically about sigma factor 32. And so sigma factor 32 looks like this, written like this, and it's the heat shock sigma factor. And here are some cool facts about it. So this is a sigma factor that turns on transcription of genes in response to heat um, in prokaryotes. And its own mRNA is actually turned on by heat, too, because its mRNA secondary structure gets relaxed by heating. We're going to talk about what this means in a second. And what results in the upstream, and, and it's upstream of genes that are turned on by high temperature. So it results in those genes getting turned on as well. I always remember this because um, the normal sigma factor is sigma 70. It's called the housekeeping sigma factor. So I always remember like my seven-year-old grandma is doing housekeeping, and then the sigma 32 is the heat shock one because it's still young and trendy and can respond to heat pretty well. <laughs> That's just how I remember learning that in genetics. Um, I thought I'd share that here. So here is a secondary structure of sigma 32 RNA at 37 degrees Celsius. And what's really cool is it has well, it has a really cool structure. But I want to point out a couple of key features. The first is, and I'm going to zoom in on these features right now. Here we go. Going on an adventure. Is first, it has the stem structure. And within that stem structure, here is the start codon, so AUG. And currently, at 37 degrees C, it's sequestered. So there's very little translation. It's stuck in the stem structure, and the ribosome can't really come on right here. Here's the 5' prime end of the, R of the RNA, and here's the 3' prime end. But at 45 degrees Celsius, so if we get a higher temperature, what happens is the stem melts, and then this AUG is exposed, and then the ribosome can get on there and cause translation of this forming sigma 32, which is really, really cool. So it's controlled by temperature because it is a sigma factor that needs to be around when the temperature is really high. I think that's awesome. So let's take a look at what happens when we make chim changes in this stem, in this stem structure. Um, what, how does that affect the level of translation of sigma 32 and at various temperatures? So here's the first thing we want to change. We're going to change the number 5C to an A. So let's find out where that is. Let's see, number 5C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if this C gets turned into an A, well now we have a U base pairing that can happen, so we get increased base pairing. When we have more base pairing, it results in this stem structure being more stable. And that means that it's, it's, it's harder, it requires more energy, a higher increase in temperature for this AUG, to, for the stem to melt, and for the AUG to be accessible. That means that the AUG is relatively more protected, which results in less translation of sigma-32 because the um, energy that it takes to break this stem will be higher. Now, what if instead of... Instead of that happening, instead of this being switched to an A, we switch, we disrupt some other base pairs. So let's just say that this, this, uh, let's see, this A now becomes a, another U. Okay, this would result in this no, this base pairing event no longer being able to happen because you cannot base pair with you. That means that this stem structure is relatively weaker. This means that it's easier to break. It doesn't require the same amount of energy to make these um, no longer base pair. That results in the AUG being less protected because this, it's easier to break the stem, and that results in more translation of relatively more translation of sigma 32. So where this results in a down regulation of the friction sigma 32, this would result in an up regulation of sigma 32. Pretty cool. So this is just another example of how environmental conditions or other things can influence the level of translation due to controls on the mRNA itself. Pretty cool. Hope to see you soon.